does anybody still think that this fight is actually going to happen? Because we know where this all eventually leads. Logan Paul versus Jake Paul. Greatest celebrity bout ever. That's right, I didn't really weigh in on this, but a couple, I guess like uh, over the weekend, we found out that the Jake Paul-Mike Tyson fight was going to be postponed indefinitely. Uh, they are hoping for quarter four, but who knows? Them ulcers, they take some time to get fixed. So I, I by no stretch of the imagination, am I any sort of of expert on fighting or celebrity fighting or influencer fighting. I've never watched an influencer fight, but since it was on Netflix, I thought, Hey, 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 maybe I will catch this since it's already part of the package. There was like no additional bonus to check it out. Netflix, which is kind of switching to launching more of a new live streaming thing they've got going on. Not all the time, but it, it seems like they're trying to dip their toe into the water, like a event broadcasting. This was going to be broadcast live, and now it is indeterminate. Now, I'm starting to think there's a conspiracy afoot here, because... I, when I first heard about this fight, I mean, come on, it's Mike Tyson and against some Disney kid. Is this really a fight? Like, is, and I know Mike Tyson is, is ancient and old at this point, but really, is this an actual fight here? And then there were a bunch of dumb rules and then they changed the rules so that it was officially on their record. So let's take a look at the stories and, and then we'll weigh in because as I said in the intro, this is only going to one place. Somehow Jake Paul's probably going to win because he's going to gas Tyson. And then it's going to be Jake Paul versus his brother for the, for, for ownership of uh, whatever prime that drink. Yep. It's for all the shares. They're going to put up their Lambos, their share, their shares of prime, everything. So uh, Mike Tyson had a medical scare on a plane and they're, they're saying there's gonna be a new date but who knows uh he suffered a medical scare which was an ulcer flare-up well tyson tweeted that he felt 100 percent in the aftermath he was advised in a follow-up con consultation to do only minimal to light training over the next few weeks tyson and paul reportedly agreed to push back the fight set to be streamed on netflix i mean there's a lot of money at play here their box their boxing boxing match is to be scheduled rescheduled later this year at AT&T Stadium Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And they've done some mad marketing on this. Tyson made a comment. He wants to thank everybody, but due to his ulcer flare up, I have been advised by my doctor not to lighten up the load. I still beat that that little white boy's ass. But I got to wait for now. <laughs> uh, Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. I appreciate everyone's patience. I don't know. All of this is just bananas. Uh, Logan, not Logan Paul, Jake Paul. It's real hard to keep them separate. One has a head tattoo with a big bushy beard, and the other one is a dillweed. <laughs> you pick which one is which. Uh, he wants to fight Tyson at his max. <laughs> it will be the largest age gap in professional fighting history with Paul 31 years younger. He's 27 and Tyson's 58. This, does, this is just nonsense. Uh oh, <laughs> Logan Paul wants to step in. I don't think Logan Paul gets to fight until after the Tyson match, because then the money will be just outrageous. Because people will really want to pay to see this. So I don't know. And I, <laughs> all of this is crazy. Here's directly from Netflix. 
They're postponing it. They want to thank you. Uh, what do they say? The upcoming highly anticipated boxing match between Jay Ball and Mike Tyson will be unfortunately postponed. Don't trust postponed. Yes. The health and well-being of the athletes is our top priority. Well, I don't know. This is uh, this is weird. Especially when it's, it's Netflix doing a live promotion. It's a shame all the undercard card guys don't get to do anything. Not that, you know, anybody cares. But I guess it's a pro fight. And, uh, yeah. I really like Jake a lot, said Mike Tyson. But once he's in the ring, he has to fight like his life depends on it because it will. I eat your children. <laughs> he has no children, Mike. You cannot eat them. Uh, I'm going to humble him. You might humble him, though. And it's a sanctioned fight, so I don't know. Uh, it's pretty weird. And uh, not that by any stretch of the imagination is uh, Mike Tyson chickening out or anything. But isn't this kind of like the flu fight? Wasn't there a whole thing where he got the flu... And then he got knocked out by Buster Douglas because he just wasn't able to practice as hard as he wanted. And I don't know how good Mike's weed ventures are going, but maybe he needs a little more cash. Like, there's no reason to fight this dude. There's just none. Why would you fight this guy? He hasn't, he hasn't beat anybody to even be worth your time. Other than money, it's all about the Benjamins. So if the Benjamins are big on this one, imagine what they would be on the Logan Paul side, even though, again, I know nothing about boxing. But I'm going to say Jake Paul beats Logan Paul. Just my... I although isn't the, I don't know. I'd have to like look at the reach and all <laughs> What am I talking about? I don't know what anything about boxing. I know a tiny bit. A little, little tiny bit. But I don't know anything about influencers. They, they you know... I mean, if you're all jacked up on Prime, maybe you come out and you just go real fast and hard. But ultimately, I think this is all publicity stunts and nonsense and craziness. It's going to cost Netflix money. I don't know if Netflix is ever going to go back into the live boxing influencer thing again, unless it's Logan Paul versus Jake Paul. And then they're in it to win it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below because this one... It's pretty wild. I, I don't know what in the world's going on here because I they actually got a normie like me interested. I would never paid for pay per view. I'm not going over anybody else's house to go watch things. I'm not going to a bar to watch a fight. But this one, because it was on Netflix, I would have watched it, and I think the a lot of people would have watched it just for the weird. Why is Mike Tyson one of the baddest men on earth beating up on a, a Disney child? Why? Why is he doing that? But again, I don't know. Let me let me know who you think would win this one because I think Tyson should win, but money. Money. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. Uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it. You can check out our full-length audio podcast. It's on iTunes. You can also catch the live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Join the fun. Join the channel. We do love all y'all, but I'm on to the next one.